hi friends and today we are going to see the uh, logic behind this import statement and then revision in functions okay let's uh, first revise the functions and then let's see what is import so open python first we are going to see functions so use the def keyword to define a function so the name of the function is going to be addition and just put a parenthesis and then put a colon after that whatever that you type will be within the function so I am just passing print hi so I have written my function that is not uh, doing any more job than just printing however I want to use my function so I am calling this so when I run this it will ask me it is save first so I am yes here I will say dude funk and scope funk and save so you saved that function and the function gets run and it prints uh, high in the shell parameter which is our output okay it's fine but uh, instead of this I can uh, do this just with uh, this one line actually if you see we have two times high printed because we called the function addition which does uh, printing this string and we have passed the same string to be printed out of this function so here if you change something you can see the difference that the two prints are not equal okay so these are this is a simple way for a function but I want uh, I want to add two numbers so I am deleting all these things what I want to do is add two numbers that the user gives so whatever that I need uh, to use uh, sorry uh, whatever the necessary things I need to perform some action uh, is input that needs to be given into this parenthesis uh, see I want to have a plus B I want to add two numbers which I will get from the user a and b and so when this uh, whatever that we are giving into this is the necessary input so and this is called as parameters so actually we have defined two parameters with the two parameters it is performing an arithmetic operation in between the two parameters that we have given so I am saving that as result and I am printing this result run ok actually uh, I have defined my function 
to work with a and b with if you uh, call the function without uh, the two arguments that means when i designed it is a parameter i am trying to use my function right now so i want to uh, pass something into it otherwise the function will not work so i am passing 78 and 100 as a will be 78 and b will be 100 so now i am running my it's the powerfulness of function and suppose uh, if you have designed your function to work with the default values such as like this if the user is not defining anything then you assign a as 0 and b as 0 so this is a default value i am assigning while creating function so if i call my function without any arguments so it now without argument also this function works because we have assigned default values that means even though if you are not passing anything as argument it will pass zero as the first argument and next one also zero as the next argument so that zero plus zero will give zero and that will be printed so in that way it works uh, suppose if you pass some other numbers like 200 and 700 simply okay now it is getting added when you when you are not assigning anything then it will take default value otherwise it won't you can call many times the same function so now i am not giving the second argument i am avoiding that and running my module what it gives is it takes a as 200 and b as 0 like this it is printing okay so one more type i am doing i am assigning b is equal to 700 and a is equal to 400 and i will come on these two so now also it runs that means uh, as per my design in my function the first thing needs to be a parameter which is uh, referenced by this uh, a so if you want to uh, give in a, these arguments in a different order then uh, the parameter should be used in order to um, overcome this argument assignment error so in this way if you call it will work and when you assign so this kind of uh, uh, using the function is termed this this kind of calling is keyword argument so if i have one keyword argument and another as just an argument then what will happen see non keyword argument after keyword argument you should not pass like this so you sh- whenever you pass some argument assigned with its parameter then you need to follow it for all the Uh, necessary parameters uh, sorry arguments okay so now we understood what is function and how can you use function
so i am deleting all these things and i am saving my file save as tute function is my name i'm just saving and replacing that and now i am opening a new file okay it can be here so now i open a new file so here i say import cute funk so this is the module now each and every ansa file is a module actually it is saved tute funk dot py and there only i am i am saving this function also here i am going to use tute import okay i saved so both are in the same folder so i can simply uh, import this function to here same thing uh, if i copy and paste what will happen that is what this simple line is doing so so import tute function just imports all the functions and all the objects in the file in the python file to one another python file so in this way uh, in tute function we have a function for adding two numbers so i want to use that function so it is located in tute func and then put a the dot and what is the function name it is addition and then you need to give uh, arguments or you can leave simply because we have assigned uh, default values so but i am giving 67 and 23 sorry 32 okay run this function okay save so you are getting 99 that is the value which is added so this is what the usefulness of import so here we had we had our function defined above and we used the function by calling it but when the function is located in some other python file we can use by importing it and if you want to use any function within it then first define the name of the file then uh, the function name and whatever the necessary arguments that you need to send for that function to perform that task which is expected needs to be given within this parenthesis so these things you need to understand very clearly now i am going to ansa script window so here whatever you import uh, as ansa this contains all the necessary functions like uh, collect entities actually ansa is a uh, actually base is the python file which contains all the topo operations which we perform uh, regularly uh, like um, we collect entities we create a hard point all the uh, line creation surface edit so many things are in the uh, python file which is base so we are importing it from the base i want to use collect entities function so that's why i am putting a base dot collect entities and then i am passing necessary arguments that are required 
for the collect entities function to work in a better way actually this collect entities function has been designed uh, for uh, for so many cases but what is our case we are uh, going to work for nastron and then we are going to search for p shells which is properties so likewise we will limit our uh, use usage actually we are not limiting we are um, using the collect entities function in a right way what we need so but this collect entities can be used for any solver deck and it can collect any type of ansa entity so this is how uh, the background of this uh, simple uh, code is actually we are importing ansa and then from the ansa we are importing um, base that means this is a one ansa file which contains link to this ansa file so and then um, after that now this untitled python file is having uh, one more function within it which is main function so in that i am using collect entities so and i am using the main to call to run this function thanks for watching have a great day